10 billion units. It's, it's, it's some crazy number. It might be 20 billion units if the ratio is, say, two to one on people. The second generation Tesla Optimus was launched to the surprise of the fan community, which is proof that Tesla has a long-term strategy for its future technology production plan. Meanwhile, Boston Dynamics has also upgraded the fourth generation spot with new features that could shake up the entire robotics industry. How are both of these technologies expected to change the future? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. In an era where the creation of humanoid robots is increasingly gaining attention, Boston Dynamics stands firm, unwavering in its commitment to produce two groundbreaking technologies, Atlas and Spot. These feats of engineering, revered in the United States alongside icons like the Tesla Optimus, epitomize the pinnacle of robotic advancement, earning accolades worldwide. Boston Dynamics, with nearly three decades of relentless research in its arsenal, including the standout features of SpotDog, stands out as a technological marvel. Indeed, SpotDog exemplifies innovation, seamlessly integrating advanced functionalities that can rival even Tesla's Optimus. However, there are a few considerations we need to examine to avoid major confusion between these two technologies. What if we put Tesla Optimus and Boston Dynamics Spot 4.0 on the scale? It seems like this is not a fair comparison. It's like comparing a child who just learned to walk to a mature technology company specializing in robots. The Tesla bot resembles a child with autonomy and great potential for the future industry, while Boston Dynamics is at the forefront of controlled robot technology. These are entirely two different approaches, so we can compare them in terms of technology, features, and future usefulness, rather than determining a winner between these two completely different concepts. Firstly, Spot, a unique dog-shaped robot, was born out of Boston Dynamics creativity. Programmed to perform various tasks from surveillance to exploration and industrial applications, Spot's akin to a reliable companion. Its mission seems similar to the role of Tesla Optimus, a humanoid robot. In terms of technology integration, agility is always prioritized at Boston Dynamics. The Atlas Bot, with an astonishing speed of 2.5 meters a second, is a clear testament to this. However, Spot Dog has a relatively limited speed, reaching only 1.6 meters a second. Nevertheless, the fourth version of Spot's brought a new advancement in movement style, enhancing its flexibility across all terrains. It's undeniable that there's still much anticipation for Spot Dog, especially with its lightweight design at only 72 pounds, promising superior agility. As a mobile robot, agility is indispensable, and we hope Spot Dog will demonstrate this excellently. Compared to the Tesla bot, after updating to Gen 2 with a speed increase of up to 30%, and it's become much more flexible, albeit weighing 1.9 times more than Spot Dog weighing at 138 pounds. While some might find it illogical and without merit to compare a humanoid robot to a robot dog, it's important to remember that we're discussing the technology integrated into them. Particularly, Boston Dynamics has over 20 years of experience in technological advancement in this field ahead of Tesla, which has only been involved in this technology for just over two years, coupled with artificial intelligence. Optimus Gen 2 proudly boasts a payload capacity of up to 45 pounds, enabling it to handle various types of objects in specialized work environments. Although there haven't been any instances of carrying such heavy loads, its ability to handle and manipulate smooth objects like holding an egg or neatly folding clothes gives us a glimpse of Optimus's precision. On the other hand, Spot Dog's impressive payload capability of 30.9 pounds is not far behind Tesla's humanoid robot. The truth is, while Spot Dog has a smaller payload capacity than Tesla Optimus, it still deserves praise, especially considering its compact size as an animal-like robot. You may not know that it measures 43.3 inches in length, 19.7 inches in width, and has a default height of 24 inches when moving, with the height adjustable depending on how you adjust it on the controller. With such dimensions and payload capacity, it demonstrates high maneuverability in transporting essential tools into tight underground chambers or moving goods around the factory. From what we gathered, Spot Dog is primarily designed for outdoor use or in the harshest environmental conditions, which explains its IP54 rating displayed in its specifications. This rating indicates a fairly good resistance to dust and water, making it a suitable choice for typical work environments. To simplify, let me break down the ingress protection rating. 
This is an internationally recognized system used to evaluate the extent to which electronic devices can withstand environmental challenges like dust and water. Currently, Tesla has not disclosed this rating for Optimus, but based on our assessment of the structure, size, and materials of the bot Gen 2, it should at least achieve an IP65 rating. Moreover, evidence of Tesla's excellent waterproof capabilities is demonstrated by all Tesla electric vehicle models being able to pass relatively challenging water-resistant tests, something that most other vehicles on the market cannot achieve. Similarly, the Cybertruck will have the capability to be waterproof enough to function as a boat for short periods, allowing it to traverse rivers, lakes, or even seas without too much trouble. The CEO added that the goal is for Cybertruck to be able to cross the water between SpaceX's Starbase and South Padre Island in Texas. Additionally, mainstream models like the Model 3 or Model Y also have the ability to safely traverse deep puddles. This further confirms the water-resistant capabilities of Tesla's Optimus. Standing at 5'8", Optimus boasts even greater water resistance at deeper depths and is enveloped by an outer layer of 80% polyurethane plastic, aiding the robot in pushing back dust more effectively than usual. Why does Tesla Optimus technology have the potential to change the landscape of robotics technology? While spots equipped with a relatively modest energy system to appeal to customers with a battery capacity of 564 watt hours or 0.564 kilowatt hours, Additionally, the fastest charging time to reach 80% will take up to 50 minutes and slower charging times can extend up to two and a half hours, depending on environmental temperature and the charger. The charging source for spot dogs known to be 400 watts. This means it can only operate for an hour and a half after being fully charged within a two hour period, simply because it's a compact robot model designed to operate for the necessary duration rather than being active all day like humanoid robots in factories. Tesla applies its humanoid robot with a significantly larger battery capacity, four and a half times more at 2.3 kilowatt hours, and can operate continuously for 24 hours on a single charge. This figure could potentially be improved in Gen 2, although Elon Musk hasn't disclosed much yet. However, with improved weight, the operational time capability is expected to be slightly extended. Furthermore, in this latest update, Tesla Optimus has been announced to have at least 13 degrees of freedom, with 11 degrees of freedom in the arms and 2 degrees in the neck. This is an important factor considered to be a game changer, as the articulation and joint movement seem as complex as those of a real human. In the future, the degrees of freedom in the neck could be expanded to enhance its ability to rotate more flexibly. Why? In fact, humans tend to rotate their necks first to determine the direction. Then other parts, such as the waist, hips, knees, and feet, will execute a turn to align with the position that the eyes have previously located. When Tesla can apply this to Optimus, you'll be amazed to witness its superior flexibility, similar to humans instead of robots having to make those slow, deliberate steps to execute a turn. While Boston Dynamics Spot Dog has only 12 degrees of freedom with 3 degrees in each leg, the more degrees of freedom, the more flexible and smoother the robot's movements are. With 12 degrees of freedom, Spot's agile and robust enough to navigate every nook and cranny of the factory meticulously without limitations. Additionally, an arm with a gripper mounted on top of Spot's head is a significant factor that makes it more useful. This arm has 6 degrees of freedom combined with a gripper to grasp everything, which is a significant advantage for Spot Dog. In reality, navigating a factory is always a significant challenge for robots. It's widely acknowledged that the interior space of a factory is particularly complex, with various zones and different components, ranging from large machinery to smaller equipment. When we consider the Gigafactory Texas facility, we see that it encompasses raw material processing areas, welding zones, paint sections, assembly areas, not to mention the battery production unit. Therefore, for a robot to operate efficiently in such a large factory, it requires advanced camera systems and robust environmental sensors to move freely without disrupting the entire manufacturing process of the facility. This drive led Tesla to equip Optimus with eight cameras used in the autonomous driving system of their electric vehicles. These cameras are integrated into the head of Optimus to perceive the surrounding environment, even being capable of mapping areas that humans may not have access, such as deep caves. This is entirely feasible due to the radar system, which has long been able to do this even before the concept of humanoid robots existed. Specifically, Tesla Optimus operates on an AI-based perception system. Instead of being manually programmed, the robot relies entirely on eight cameras with a 360-degree view, supplemented by radar sensors to detect objects ahead. Meanwhile, the AI system in the new generation of Optimus can gather information from these sensors to build a 3D model of its surroundings. 
This model is then used to navigate the robot and avoid obstacles. Furthermore, this system will leverage image and video data to understand how to perform complex actions, such as grasping and moving objects. Tesla's neural network is trained end-to-end, -end, meaning it learns the entire task comprehensively rather than breaking it down into individual tasks. Tesla's mitigating risk by investing in its hardware while simultaneously developing its own Dojo technology and ordering hardware from NVIDIA. It seems they're pursuing a dual path between NVIDIA and Dojo, but we believe Dojo is more like a longer journey, akin to building a dedicated propulsion system for the Tesla bot. It's a worthwhile endeavor because the potential profits could be substantial. The Dojo system is operational and is training both robots and self-driving systems. Tesla even has bigger plans for Dojo 1.5, 2.0, and beyond. On the other hand, SpotDog, developed by Boston Dynamics, is also well-equipped with significant investment in its sensor capabilities. It has five cameras providing a 360-degree view, comparable to humanoid robots, and its depth camera range has been publicly announced as two meters. Additionally, Spot's equipped with LiDAR sensors to scan objects, terrain, and the surrounding environment. However, the notable difference here is the absence of AI technology. They are using pre-installed software to control the technology. More precisely, you need to be present when Spot Dog's working to control and give it commands to it immediately. Boston Dynamics Robot Dog uses Orbit Platform, which provides real-time information about the robot and checks it against the base map. It shows the robot's locations directly, active tasks and inspection alerts, all within the user's facility's visual context. Operators can use the web map to create and modify task records. This means large, complex locations can be recorded in separate sessions over a few days or even with multiple robots simultaneously, with the records merged later into a single coherent map in orbit. To enable Spot to converse, Boston Dynamics has utilized OpenAI's ChatGPT API, along with some large open source language models to carefully train its responses. It then equipped the robot with a speaker adding to the ability to convert text into speech. This seems to be not quite enough to be considered absolute integration of artificial intelligence into the robot. I don't think any electric vehicle manufacturer can do it better than Tesla, not in the long run. Boston Dynamics is very impressive, but their robots lack a brain. Then you also need the ability to design humanoid robots in a way that could be mass produced. At some point, robots are gonna manufacture robots. Although Spot's just a compact robot dog, the price is surprisingly high, with a suggested retail price of up to $75,000 listed on the manufacturer Boston Dynamics website. This price tag makes it a luxury product for many, yet its features are limited and users still need to be present to control them. Consequently, considering its usefulness for Parkinson's patients is quite low due to Spot's limited capabilities, this does pose a significant challenge in terms of consumer accessibility. Compared to the price of the humanoid robot Optimus, which is around $20,000, Tesla would not allow their product to be priced at $75,000. Many believe Optimus third or fourth generation were priced at $50,000. They'd still be willing to take it home because of the immensely useful features it provides. If you intend to use a humanoid robot to care for patients, we can look at some specific cost calculations. For example, a full-time caregiver who can be accessed 24 hours a week and accompanies you will be extremely expensive. The one-time cost of purchasing a Tesla bot would be around $20,000 or even when the price reaches $50,000. It'd be nothing compared to the hundreds of thousands of dollars that'd be spent on care and 24 seven support over a year, which a company would charge to have someone care for their patient at home. This makes the decision to purchase Spot more difficult because its price is close to that of a Tesla Model X. Despite the high price, Boston Dynamics has actively marketed Spot to construction companies, emphasizing its value in efficiency, safety, and data-driven decision-making. They've used online channels, industry events, and partner relationships to reach their target audience. Meanwhile, Musk is relatively cautious in publicly marketing Optimus, perhaps indicating that major marketing efforts will be reserved for significantly upgraded generations, such as Gen 3 or Gen 4. How important are Tesla and X.com to Optimus? This stems from their respective fields of expertise and their corresponding technological advancements. Tesla and X are crucial in activating two fundamental abilities of robots, navigation and communication. For navigation, Tesla is not just an automobile company. They have significant investments in artificial intelligence and robotics, particularly through the development of autonomous vehicles. 
Tesla's autopilot and full self-driving technologies are at the forefront of AI-driven navigation, which can be adapted and applied to robots. This technology enables vehicles to understand and navigate complex environments, a skill that can be directly transferred to robots like Optimus. Tesla's vehicles are equipped with a sensor suite, including cameras, ultrasonic sensors, and radar, allowing them to perceive their environment with high precision. For robots, this capability is essential for navigating through different settings, avoiding obstacles, and interacting safely with humans and objects. Additionally, Tesla's positioning system relies on machine learning algorithms to process the massive amount of data collected from Tesla's fleet of up to 5 million vehicles. This data-driven approach allows the systems to continuously improve and adapt to new situations. For Optimus, leveraging Tesla's expertise in machine learning and data processing could enhance its navigation abilities in unfamiliar environments by learning from various situations. As for the communication framework, X's social network and information platform as a leading social media platform specialize in disseminating and exchanging information. It's developed complex algorithms to suggest content, interact with users, and process natural language. These technologies are crucial to enable effective communication for robots, understanding human language, and responding in a natural and engaging manner. Moreover, X's experience in handling and analyzing large volumes of text data could be invaluable for developing Optimus's communication skills. By using natural language processing software and AI, Optimus can interpret queries, understand contexts, and generate coherent and context-appropriate responses. Overall, X facilitates real-time engagement and feedback from a global audience. This feature can be leveraged to improve Optimus's communications abilities by exposing it to a variety of human interactions, opinions, and languages. It'll allow Optimus to learn from these interactions, adapting its communication style and responses to be more efficient and human-like. Ultimately, humanity's interest remains in the idea of Skynet's invasion. So what does Elon need to do to prevent that? And will you choose Optimus or the robot dog? We hope you have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla car world family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.